Hello there, this is Pastor Dean from Healing Hands of Jesus Ministries. You know, I get a lot of calls uh, about people who uh, are from people who are ridden with guilt. I was just sitting here thinking about it and praying for them. Ridden with guilt. Where does guilt come from? Well, if you've repented for your sins and you have asked God for forgiveness, guilt does not come from God. It comes from the enemy. I wrote this for Tumblr. I, I do a blog on Tumblr, T-U-M-B-L-R. I wish you could become a part of it. If, you, uh, if you're on my Facebook or if you're on my Twitter, uh, Twitter at Pastor Dean or Facebook uh, Dean Pepin, you'll get these, uh, these little blurbs that I send out during the day. And they really are very lifting. And, 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 and we've got thousands of people who read them and, and send their comments back. But this is what I wrote uh, yesterday about guilt, because this is something that we've got to address. Guilt is, is an overcoming emotion. It's an overcoming emotion, and guilt is as poisonous as cancer. And it doesn't come from God. Conviction comes from the Holy Spirit. Now, what is conviction? You know that um, there's a big difference between conviction and guilt. When uh, God, God will nudge you. God will encourage you to turn from your destructive ways. Um, when you speak to God, confess your sins. I don't care if you have to confess 99 times a day. Confess your sins. Ask for forgiveness. He will give you the power to stay away from things that make your life messy. And then, you know what he'll do? He'll repair you. Why? Because Jesus came to remove our guilt. It says in, in John 3, 17, God sent his son into the world, not to judge the world, but to save the world through him. <laughs> We've got a good God, a very good God. Listen, uh, join me on my radio program called The Midnight Miracle Hour. People call, I pray for them, and miracles happen. God has anointed this ministry with miracle power. I say that not boasting of myself, but boasting of God. The Holy Precious Spirit delivers our prayers to the throne room in such a beautiful fashion. And Jesus intercedes for us. Last night we had a lady call who has been looking for a husband. I believe she's calling back sometime this week, finding that she... Maybe didn't have the husband yet, but she's got somebody she's interested in. <laughs> uh, it's the Midnight Miracle Hour. And the good thing about it is you don't have to listen to the program at midnight. You can listen to it 24-7. It's on demand. All you have to do is Google, Google or put in your search engine, Midnight Miracle Hour or Pastor Dean Live. Thank you for listening to me. I hope I didn't talk too long. I just want to say I do love you. I'll be here Thursday night waiting for you to come in that door and say, Pastor Dean, I look at you on television, on YouTube. Come on over. We have such a good time on Thursday nights. The Holy Spirit just rains down on the service. And again, we lay hands on the sick. We lay hands. We pray for you. Whatever you need in prayer, believe me, God answers it. Father, in the name of Jesus, the person who's listening to me right now needs something. Give it to him or her. In Jesus' name. Now, I happen to know beyond a shadow of a doubt that that prayer is being answered at this very moment. I have no doubt. You might not be able to see it right away, but it's something is being done in the spirit world. I've got to go. I talked too long. It's four minutes. I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Hey, Jesus is smiling, and he's looking right at you. <laughs>